Good morning, everyone. This is Marty Harger giving you a little tour because today I want to talk about the path of self discovery that one can take in doTERRA. And I'm starting with some things I'm going to show you and talk about today, which is you see my yoga Barbie, you see some doTERRA lotions and oils, you see a beautiful um, Tibetan bowl that I actually bought in Nepal when I was there with a healing hands trip and a diffuser which is not a doTERRA diffuser but is right next to my chair and what I wanted to talk about today was on this path of personal discovery in doTERRA I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the habits that I've incorporated over the last 10 years to get to Blue Diamond that I thought might be interesting to those of you on the yoga path um, this is kind of a different approach I wanted to take today, but I do want to show you a couple of things that I think are really helpful. And I really want to point out three things today that are critical in whether it's your yoga practice, your doTERRA exploration of the essential oils, or if it's your building a business with doTERRA. And the first one is, is making time daily with a ritual that surrounds you with things that bring you joy and make you smile. So things that bring me joy are my oils, the aroma of the oils in a diffuser, uh, the beautiful lotions I put on my hands to start the day. And that's fun is Yoga Barbie. This was a gift from my husband for a holiday gift one year, and I just think it's fun. I sometimes put her in different positions of things I'm trying to work on, different asanas. And, you know, it isn't all serious. I think we have to have a little joy and laughter in what we do. So that's one thing. The second thing I want to tell you about is some of the daily habits and rituals that I go through. And I'm going to talk about this today in a little bit of depth because I feel like um, this, you know, one of the points that I wanted to make is that number two, journaling is good for your soul. Now, one of the things about journaling, and I think it's a fantastic daily practice, um, along with the daily practice of a routine. So number one is you get this routine going, you make time for a daily ritual surrounded by things that bring you joy. And number two is you, you journal, you, you take a, even a moment and write a sentence or two or recall some things from the previous day or write out something that's challenging to you. And I have a couple of beautiful journals. One was a gift and one is one that I purchased myself that have some important messages on them that I like to read and look at you know, things that bring me a little bit of an idea of, you know, what is it that I am here to do in this life? And then the third thing I wanted to point out today is that you can't learn everything online. So I want to take a minute and I'm going to kind of scroll you through some of the books that I have and surround myself with in my daily ritual. I have at a really special chair that I sit in in my living room every morning early before the household wakes up. I have some blends, some of the chakra and yoga meditation blends that were suggested on a great tear pad. And I put them in a beautiful container, a box that is something I've had for a while. I love this thing. I got that at uh, Oil Life. And I also have a book I'm reading, um, usually a thought of the day. These are some of the books I've been working on lately. And you're going to start to see some themes here as I show you the titles of some of the books that I look at. Now, these may not be books that interest you, but you need to get books that are your choices. And I've accumulated these over many, many years. Again, I've been involved in doTERRA for 10 years. So these are just some of the essential oil and aromatherapy books that I have and I turn to for different purposes. So, for instance, right now I'm really discovering in depth for myself and for my team and for all of you, more information about the new essential oils that came out. And yes, I love the books that are written specifically to the doTERRA collection, like the Modern Essentials book, but I have to tell you that there are some amazing aromatherapists out there in the world who've written some amazing books that are generic about essential oils, so they're always very conservative about how we use oils. But I like to learn more about the emotional aspect of oils. I like to learn about the history and, and about the chemistry. So these are just some of the ones I've been re reviewing lately. Then I kind of come over here and I have a whole variety pack. So I'm going to show you some of these because I thought this was easier. Um, and I know people are all about easy. Uh, 
it'd be easier than typing up a list. So you can see that I have some books that are really in the personal development realm. I mean, everything in yoga to me is related to personal development. But I also have books about nature. I have, um, let's see if I can come along here and show you, you know, some of this, like the yoga tradition and women who run with the wolves, um, forest bathing. It was a fascinating book that actually has a lot about essential oils in it. Um, the Book of Joy was given to me by one of my dear friends and team leaders, and I love that book. It's about the Dalai Lama and um, also with Desmond Tutu, Bishop Desmond Tutu, talking about how one finds joy in life. So, you know, there are lots of great books out there, and I'm not trying to say, you know, you need to get these books or something. I'm really just showing you a little bit about what I do, what I fill my mind with, because um, we don't have television at our house, because we really... Jim and I both believe that we want to focus on positive things. So I have business books. I have, you know, some of these books are things that I have read before and I keep them nearby because I refer to them for different reasons. Some of them are books that I um, want to read and they're in my queue. Some of them are things that I just, you know, pull a phrase from here and there. And then I also have things like photo albums. This was a photo album with Jim and I went on our trip to Guatemala with the Healing Hands Foundation. And there are other doTERRA beautiful books from the blogs and tools and references. So they're all within grasp. So the point of all this today isn't just to do a show and tell. The point of this today is that I really wanted to help you understand what I think are three healthy habits of self-discovery in doTERRA that relate to the yoga world because they're about a practice. And that practice of waking up earlier, sitting in a place in your home that is comforting to you, that is surrounded by things that bring you joy so that you have a little bit of levity and fun and purpose in the things that are around you. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Um, you know, again, make sure that you have a chance to explore and expand your mind with some of the information you can get from all kinds of fabulous books that are out there. Be a reader, be a student, and enjoy your yoga practice with the doTERRA essential oils. And I'll pick up more on that next week. Take care, everyone. Namaste.